Hi everyone, welcome back to this Jubilee Food Channel. I hope you're still enjoying watching my video. So today I'm here with my easy fried rice recipe with prawns. So as usual, if you like me, just keep on watching and I will see you next time. Take care, bye bye. So you need one day old cooked rice. I also chopped one onion. I also decided to use spring onion. And I have here about 350 grams of browns. And of course you can use any meat you like. So I have also have some frozen vegetables, so carrot, green, beans, peas and maize. I also use dark soya sauce. I also decided to add some oyster sauce but this is optional. If you don't like it, you don't need to add it. First you need oil and I also decided to use one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste but you can use either one of them okay so just heat oil in a pan or in a wok or in whatever you have when it's hot add in your chopped onions and let it cook until the edges become brown or almost brown and don't forget to stir it So after that you can now add the spring onions and then you let it cook and stir it for about two to three minutes. So after that you can now add the prawns or the meat you chose to use. So I repeat it, you can use chicken, uh, beef, pork, even tofu if, if you are um, a vegetarian. I think any meat it's okay. Okay, you can also do it without it and do only um, egg fried rice. Okay, so stir it and let it cook for about two minutes. So after that, I'm now adding my frozen vegetable. Okay, so I decided to use frozen one because it's a quick recipe, but you can use fresh ones. Okay, so um, stir it again and you let it cook for about two to three minutes. You will also see that some water may appear underneath, don't worry it's because it's frozen, just get rid of it. Okay, okay, so I've now decided to add one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. But this is optional if you don't want it don't add it okay so now i'm going to um fry my egg so i just put it just like that in my wok and i'm going to scramble it you can also beat them before adding them but i just want to do it like this okay so just scramble them and the scrambling will take you for about one minute so it should just be just like this as you see on the video okay so for about one minute and after that wash your pan add some oil let it heat and add the rice okay and let it cook for about one to two minutes and don't forget to stir it to remove the lumps okay because it will be lumpy Okay, so just like that. So now I'm ready to add my cooked vegetables and um, eggs and prawns. Okay, so I'm doing it step by step because I have a lot of vegetable and rice. Okay, so stir everything for about um, a minute. Okay, and then now you can add your soy sauce okay so the amount of soy sauce you decide to use really depends on you but my advice is get a nice soy sauce a good one a dark good soy sauce okay because the one i used is not really good okay i didn't really like it but um just get yourself a good soy sauce okay so don't forget to stir it okay so this part is optional i decided to use oyster sauce simply because i really love the taste but you don't have to do it if you don't like it okay it just gives it a little more taste okay but you can rather use maggi sauce okay really with a few maggi sauce drops it's 
it kills it it's very very nice okay I sometimes do it when I don't have oyster sauce okay so just stir it and let it cook for about two to three minutes okay so I'm adding salt why because um, my soya sauce is not the best in the world okay um, I shouldn't be doing this because the soya sauce already contains salt but anyway okay but you can also always do it okay um, so everyone my fried rice is ready I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you next time for another recipe okay so until then please stay blessed take care of yourself and I will see you later bye bye how are you do where you from it's how we do where we from <laughs>